Hey guys, Jeffno here with my uh, fifth Redstone for Dummies video. Hopefully this is my last one of the boring basic gates ones, and I should be moving on to actual applications for them in future videos, hopefully my next one. But um, for this one I'll be showing you AND gates and NAND gates. An AND gate is a gate where the output is only on if all of the inputs are on. So oh, I'll just show you one here. That. So you got input 1 leading to torch 1, input 2 leading to torch 2, redstone in between the two torches, and output hanging off here. See, you got the both the inputs are off, so the output's off. Even if I turn one of the inputs on, the output's still off. Just switch it around. It's still off. But if I put both on, now it's on. So how that works is you've got a NOT gate and another NOT gate, which combine into another NOT gate, or an R gate, depending on how you think about it. But when either of these are on, here I'll just turn one off to show you. When either of these are on, it's turning this redstone on. And when this redstone is on, this torch is going to be off. So the output's off. So as long as this redstone on, redstone's on, the output's off. And as long as either one of these torches is on, it's turning this redstone on. So just breaking it down. There. The second end gate variety. Is a bit more complex than that, which is why I don't really use this much. But it's just another art alternative, I guess. Some stuff like that. Put some redstone down here. Nope. Want a torch like that. Another one here. And torch there. Torch hanging off there. And a few redstone like that. So here I'll just bring these outputs or inputs out just to show you. But uh, inputs are off, outputs off. One input's on, output's still off. Other input's on, output's still off. But both are on, now the output's on. And it works the same way as the last one. You got not gate here, you got not gate here, and those both combine into another not gate here. And as long as this piece of redstone's on, this torch is going to be off. And as long as either of this torch, either of these torches, so if this torch is on, it's going to light this one on. If this torch is on, it's going to light that one. As long as that's on, the output's off. So it works the same as the last one. It just looks a bit different. Now, time for... There's a, well, actually, there is a third variety of AND gate, but it's really complex. It's like four or five blocks high, and it's just really doesn't give you that much of a benefit. So, if you're really interested, you can Google it, but I'm not going to go into it. Get rid of these because it's turning to daylight. And um, NAND gates are the exact same as AND gates, except for when uh, all of the inputs are off is when the output's on. Now, if you have been to Minepedia and read their redstone thing, their, what they list, actually what most places list as AND gates are incorrect. I, I like to call them soft AND gates. This is what Minepedia actually uh, lists as a NAND gate, like that. So you can see the outputs are on, off, so the output's on. But the difference between a soft NAND gate and a hard NAND gate is the soft one, even if one of the inputs is on, that's still going to be on. So it's not like the ha the uh, AND gate where both of them have to be on for this to be on. It's just as long as one of them is uh, off, this will be on. So uh, when I throw that one there, this will be off. But if, um, how I make a hard NAND gate is I just take the original AND gate, 
which is like this. And I just throw some not gates on each of the inputs. Which is really the only true way of making a true NAND gate. So, like that. So you can see that the output's on, because these are off. I should really stop showing, throwing that stuff around there. So, um, but the difference is, even if I turn one on, that's going to turn off. Just between, that's the main difference between the soft and the hard NAND gate, is if I did that on the soft one, that output would still be on. But, um... This one's a lot more strict. Both of them have to be off. Both inputs have to be off for this to be on. So, um, I like this one a lot better. I guess you can choose which one you want, depending on your situation. If you want the soft NAND gate, they're easier to make, but they're just not as good for what I like to use them for. See, I turn one of the inputs on. This is still on. So, yeah, I guess you can choose which one you want, and then we get the other one. Now, this is what here, I'm just gonna make for you what uh, Mindpedia lists as a NAND gate, which isn't actually it's gonna be a soft NAND gate, not an actual hard NAND gate, like that. So because both, here I'm just going to bring it down again for you. So since both of the inputs are on, or off, sorry, the output's going to be on. But uh, if you turn one on, the output's still going to be on. Like that, because it's a soft NAND gate, not a proper NAND gate. But um, basically how, I'll just break down the NAND gate for you. A NAND gate is, a soft NAND gate, rather, is you just have your inputs leading to a NOT gate. And then those NOT gates both light a piece of redstone. So it's kind of like the inverted version of a AND gate. See if, you throw, if I throw one of these down, one of them is still lighting the output. So it's basically like you took the redstone that was in front of the torches, in front of the output, and put it on the outside of the output type thing. But, um, oh, why am I deleting that stuff? How I make a proper one is, again, I just make the original AND gate, like so. Is that all good? Looks like it. And then I put NOT gates in front of the inputs. So these are off, output's on, I turn one on, the output's going to be off, like that, just like the other one. So again, you can pick which one you want depending on your scenario, the soft NAND gate or the hard NAND gate, but I prefer the hard ones. And the way these work is, when this is off, it's basically, it's turning this on, so it's, from here on, it's just a regular NAND gate, or AND gate, sorry. So how an AND gate works again is when both the inputs are on, just forget all this stuff over here. When both the inputs are on, the output's going to be on. So that's what happens. And as soon as you turn one off, or we'll turn the input on on this, it's going to turn one of these off and work like an AND gate and turn the output off. So, yeah. That's about it for base all the basic gates. There's still some large ones like flip-flops and... Uh, implication gates and stuff like that. Um, I'm probably also going to get into XOR gates and those ones, but those are a bit more complex. Depending on what I feel like, I either might get into those more complex gates or just kind of take a break and show you how to or show some simple uses for these gates I showed you. But for now, see you.